Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just left the laundromat. When I tell y'all, baby, my next apartment will, when I move in February, that apartment will have a washer and dryer. Not no washer and dryer connection, a washer and dryer. I have a laundry room in my apartment complex, but I don't like the washer and dryers. I feel like my clothes don't be clean. Um, but yeah. I remember when me and my sister, you know, when, when me and my sister thought we was a rich, when we thought we was a girl, when me and my sister thought we was girl, young, rich, and fabulous, honey, girl, we had a little nice apartment, girl, garden tubs, girl, all that stuff, girl, girl, I miss my apartment, girl, mm. girl, wash and dry, girl, I used to wash clothes every other day just because. Anyways, so yeah, come, 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 come on, come on, 02 2021, cause girl, I'm out of here. Hopefully out of Houston, but if not, definitely out of that apartment, girl. I done gave y'all ten long years, and I'm the type of person when I move somewhere, if I really ain't got no major problems, girl, I, I just sit there and be still. I ain't got time to be doing all that packing and moving and packing and moving and packing and moving and packing and moving. But now it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Anyways, y'all, so listen. You know, we were talking about Kanye West in my last video. And, you know, a lot of people, I know a lot of people do not like the Kardashians. And I completely understand why. You know, some of the things that they do you know, they deserve a good cursing out. <laughs> they do. You know, um, they have a lot of question marks over their head. Um, but I think that sometimes, like, we, for example, let's just get into it. For this, with this whole Kanye West thing. Like, even when y'all would say stuff like, black men get with the Kardashians and they just ruin these men's lives. Like, bitch, them bitches are not that goddamn... Baby, y'all act like them hoes is God. Do you hear me? Girl, these niggas be already fucked up. All of them. Scott was fucked up prior to Courtney. Lamar was fucked up prior to Chloe. Kanye was fucked up prior to Kim. Bruce was fucked up prior to... Well, I ain't gonna say he was fucked up, but he wasn't living in his truth. <laughs> Girl, he wasn't living in his truth. Like, these niggas get with Kim, black, white, whomever it may be. They already... I mean, get with these Kardashians. Girl, they already got problems. But for some reason, y'all think that they didn't get they, these problems in the current until they got with um these girls. And that's just not the truth. I think when it comes to this, like a lot of y'all, you know, I wish that would be my man. You would show your man and you was gonna do what? Not a goddamn thing, because your man is sane. Let's just put the shit on the table. Your man is sane. Or he say he is, and got all his goddamn sense, and you still can't keep that nigga under control. He still do what the fuck he wanna do. So I don't know how, if you can't keep your nigga under control and he got all his goddamn senses and he still do what the fuck he want to do, I don't know how you think you would keep his ass under control if he didn't. Kanye, let it be known that Kim has tried to get a doctor and he said, you know, he said, I sent out a whole bunch of tweets last night. Like, I don't know what y'all want Kim to do. Kanye is a grown ass man. Yes, that is her husband. Y'all want her to y'all want him y'all want her to chain the nigga down? Is that what y'all want? Cause truth be told, the nigga ain't out here hurting nobody. He ain't raping nobody. He ain't grabbing on, on, on nobody. The motherfucker just talking out the side of his neck. <laughs> and that's something. But girl, is it enough to be chained down to a bad girl? Oh, is that what y'all want Kim to do? I don't know what y'all want. I don't know what any, like, on some real shit, like, Kim is really in a fucked up situation because Kim 
the truth of the matter is you got with Chloe, you got with Kanye hoeing around. Let's just call it for what it is, because Amber Rose already let us know that you was fucking around with uh Kanye and everybody tried to deny it and now four kids later in a marriage later. So clearly Amber Rose ain't no goddamn liar and she was telling the truth from the get that from the goddamn get. Hello? So you was hoeing around with um Kanye, you thought he was different. You thought it was. You thought he was smart. You ain't know this is what your ass is in store for. Hello, I bet you Amber Rose and Alexis and them other girls is probably back at the house, bitch jumping up for joy. Girl, I know that sound fucked up. What I'm about, what I'm about to say, but I know them hoes is jumping up for joy. God damn, I'm glad that ain't me. Wouldn't you? I forgot y'all think y'all Captain Save a nigga. <laughs> We gotta stand by the black. We gotta stand by our black men no matter what. <laughs> no matter how they treat us. We gotta stand by our black men. I wouldn't expect y'all to stand by me if I dog y'all out the way these niggas be dogging y'all out. But that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. All I'm saying is at the end of the goddamn day, like I don't know what y'all expect Kim to do. What would you do? Because if Kim divorced Kanye, then she'll trifle an ass bitch. Y'all say she ain't getting no help, she'll trifle an ass bitch. If this was your husband, he wouldn't be out here doing this. Yeah, the fuck he would. Yeah, the fuck he would. He wouldn't be doing the same goddamn thing. I saw Candace um, making some, she said something, and I was like, it wasn't like mean, but it's like, Candace, girl, we've seen how you treated your husband on TV. Girl, your man can't even take care of you, girl. You, you and your man living in your mama house. Y'all just started paying the mortgage the other day. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I just wanted to say, you know, gotta be a little bit messy sometimes. Like, y'all cannot put everything on these goddamn Kardashians. You can't. I know y'all want to, but you can't. Well, you can. But, like, this, I feel bad for Kim. This bitch done got with this nigga who clearly is, you know, gone with the wind and this bitch got four kids can't none of them pick up the phone and call their daddy so it's like, bitch, even if she divorced the nigga she's stuck with the nigga at least until these, girl, how old is North? Five? Girl, she's stuck with, the, girl, the youngest one is what? One, two? She's stuck, she's stuck dealing with Kanye until these kids turn at least 11 or 12 where they can pick up the phone and call their daddy and tell their daddy what they need would you leave your kids with, with somebody like Kanye husband or not I thought about it I wouldn't you see too many stories you see too many stories of motherfuckers being crazy whether it's a, whether it's a man or a woman beat your ass liable to come pick your kids up and all them kids be floating upside down in the bathtub girl I'm just saying for what it is girl And I'm sure Chris is over there like, bitch, <laughs> girl. Because Chris, Chris can use and keep a leash on these bitches. She can't keep no leash on Kanye. And I know that shit drives her crazy. Look, the Kardashians, they might be in the goddamn media for being some hoes, allegedly. <laughs> but girl, when it comes to shit like this, they don't do shit like this. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll press around with a nigga. Okay, y'all can call us a hoe. That's fine, whatever. But girl, shit like this, they, don't, they ain't never been in the news for no shit like this. So I'm sure they like, hold the fuck up. Usually they can control the narrative. They can control Kanye. So Chris probably over there like this motherfucker. I gotta get my hair dyed every other day because this motherfucker is fucking up the money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel bad for Kim. I feel bad for Kanye. Because Kanye it has the illness. But can you imagine having to deal with someone like that? What the fuck do you do? You don't know what to do. Kim ain't no doctor. And even if she was, until that motherfucker wants some help, he ain't going to get it. 
It's almost like trying to put a drug addict in rehab. You can put him in rehab all goddamn day long. You can force him to go. That could be the only option the judge gives someone who's addicted to either you're going to go to rehab or you're going to go to jail. But guess what? As soon as they step on motherfucking MLK, baby, they, they knocking on the nearest trap house door. That's what they doing. Looking for a hit. So until people want to get help, you can't make a motherfucker do nothing. Because at this point, Kanye don't think he wrong. So how the fuck you going to tell somebody who, who don't think they wrong, they wrong? That's like somebody trying to tell you, you wrong. Are oh, you going to listen to him or you going to tell a motherfucker, shut the fuck up, you don't know what you're talking about? You don't know what you're talking about? And then when you add mental, Ill mental illness on top of it, girl... I saw people on the shade room and all that blaming Kylie for Megan getting her ass shot and the guy getting shot. No! That is not Kylie Jenner's fault. That is that black man. That's that black man who shot that black woman. That's who fucking fault it is. Stop putting that shit on Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner did not pick up no gun and she ain't shoot nobody. That nigga, that black man shot that black woman. That's what the fuck happened. Start putting the blame on the, on the on the motherfuckers where the blame should go. That's Colin now fault. Megan should be hanging. Megan, Megan hanging out with them Kardashians. That ain't got shit to do with Tory Lane shooting that girl. Girl. Y'all, when I tell y'all will jump through hoops and loops to defend these niggas, Tory shot that gun from what we understand allegedly. Now, unless y'all can tell me some shit that, that Kylie did it, I don't want to hear it. That's what I be talking about. Y'all try to put everything on them girls. Like, we can have, you can have some some conversations about cultural appro appropriation and all that stuff. Yes, we can have conversations about that. But some shit, I'm just going to look at y'all like, girl, for real. So it's Kylie fault that Megan got that shot, that Megan got shot by Tory Lanez or what his name is? Tory Lanez, Troy, Troy Lanez, whatever his name is. That little nigga who they say is 5'3 and 120. Bitch, I wish a motherfucker would be 5'3 and 120 and got all that goddamn mouth, girl. Shit, yo, bitch, you, you damn near shaped like an 11-year-old girl. Is he really 5'3 and weigh 120? I hope that I hope that's not true. Because that is sad. Ooh, let me shut up. I know some of y'all men is the same height. Baby, that, boy, that man can't do... Girl, a, a motherfucker the size of Tory Lanez can't do nothing but eat your pussy out. Yeah. And that's it. I just saw that car just turn, girl. People, y'all be acting like y'all really got somewhere to go. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just feel like, girl, I don't know what y'all want Kim to do. And like I said, Kim, Kanye already let it be known that Kim tried to get his ass locked up. <laughs> Tory Lanez, supposedly, you know, when we was on live the other night, y'all was trying to tell me about that, and I was like, girl, what y'all talking about, girl? Girl, so basically, allegedly, Tory Lanez shot Megan the Stallion in her feet. Girl, what? <laughs> and y'all niggas blaming it on Kylie. Girl, y'all niggas blaming it on the Kardashians. Girl, where? How the fuck the Kardashians got anything to do with this nigga shooting that girl? <laughs> y'all got the show, girl. Unless I, unless y'all know something, I don't know. Tory Lanez in his goddamn ass whoop. Girl, you online trying to check, ch trying to check Shakana. Trying to check Shakana about Gucci and bitch, you over here shooting black. You over here shooting girl. 
You trying to say you trying to check Shakana Joe about Gucci, and then you turn around and shoot a black woman in her feet. Like, you know how, like, fucked up you got to be to do some shit like that? That's like you... Like, we know Megan Thee Stallion is not like no Sierra. We know Megan Thee Stallion, she like to do a whole bunch of ass shaking twerking. That's like you shooting, like... That's how like you shoot like Beyonce and her knee. Like, girl. Beyonce don't stand there and sing. She do a whole bunch of all, uh, the whole bunch of, whole bunch of shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's like some fucked up shit. You know Megan like to twerk and throw her ass in a circle. You gonna shoot her to her goddamn feet when she can't stand up? The fuck? These niggas is crazy. These niggas are crazy. I don't wanna feel no pain. No, baby. The trials of another day. Girl, I went to my favorite food truck the other night and then that was closed. I was so pissed off. But yeah, girl, I don't know what's a girl from what I understand, Tory Lanez, Shot Meg the Stallion. I guess they was hanging out with Kylie or some shit like that. And now it's Kylie fault that Meg got shot by Tory. No why? Uh, God is good. Is it long? Damn. It kind of is. Shit. Man, these girls are a little bit They be moving like they, ugh. God just want me a couple of tacos and a couple of margaritas. That's it. You know what's so crazy to me, y'all? How like now, all of a sudden, because of this pandemic, now, bitch, you can go to the drive-thru and get a drink. Bitch, we should have been, girl, we should have been able to drive through the drive through a long time ago and get a goddamn cocktail. Now, all of a sudden, girl, all it took for, all it took was for one bitch to get sick, okay? For a couple of hoes to get sick. Now, you know, everybody walking around here with that shit. Oh, I almost got that shit. I think they got that shit. Now, all of a sudden, girl, oh, y'all can get drinks to go. We can get drinks to go. Girl, so that means we could have been getting drinks to go a long time ago. Hmm. The trials of another day. They need to come on because I need to go put my shirts on the dough. Do y'all do some of y'all shirts? Y'all, um, you know, like these my work shirts. You know, girl, let me see. I have a uniform in case y'all like notice. Like, let me show y'all. These are cut off shirts that I be wearing all the time, girl. I got these from Walmart. That was five dollars. I got this one. I got a blue. I got a dark blue one. I got this red one, of course. I got this gray one. I got this green one. Then I got that turquoise one at the house, and I got a black one. Bitch, I literally got like every color. And girl, every day I just get up, throw a shirt on, throw a jacket on, throw some jeans on, and take my ass to work. Cause you're supposed to have three pieces at my job, which means like a jacket, a shirt. And of course, of course, a bottom. Um, or like, you know, a vest, a blazer, a shirt in the bottom. But they really kind of lenient because, you know, I work in logistics or whatever. But I just like don't want nobody to say nothing to me. So I just do. I just try to I try to do I try to do what the fuck I'm supposed to do. So I, you know, I just have my look, my little shirts I wore to work. And it is what it is, honey. That's the easiest thing. And it's so crazy. I remember back in the day, babe, I remember when I first started working at my job, girl, they used to try to get me to go to the sales floor so bad. Cause girl, believe it or not, girl, she got a little girl. She got a little bit of style, girl. She do. Um, and girl, they tried to get me to go to that sales floor. And I was like, uh-uh, nope. And then we ended up getting uniforms and I didn't want no uniforms. I didn't want no uniform because girl, I, I used to dress cute at work. <laughs> And then, girl, we had to start wearing a shirt. 
And girl, when I tell you I fell in love with, I was like, bitch, I could get up and just throw on a t-shirt and just come to work, girl. Ooh, and that made me get so lazy. And then after that, bitch, it was a wrap. When I said, bitch, you can't pay me to put no clothes on, you can't pay me. Every time I be like, oh, I'm going to wear something cute today to work, honey, bitch. I wake up, grab one of them t-shirts, bitch. Bitch, put some jeans on, some khakis or whatever. And, bitch, I hit the dough. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. I thought she was going to put some clothes on today. Mm -mm. We're going to try again tomorrow. Hold up, y'all. Let me order my food. Don't y'all say nothing about what I'm about to order. Do I want two tacos or three tacos, y'all? I don't know what I want. I do know I want two margaritas, though. Did I, tell them, did I tell these motherfuckers are slow? Hold up, y'all, so I can talk my shit after I order my food. Don't you wanna take me It's two drive throughs It's two drive throughs And I think they got one person working both drive things. Both drive throughs How can I have three ground beef tacos? Crispy. What else? And can I have two top shelf uh, margaritas? Uh, no, that's it. Twenty-five and one, thank you. Thank you. Oh, girl! I put girl. Ain't nobody in front of me. Yes. Come on, fish. 
for getting the girls out the line. Girl, let me put this mask on. What do you think about that? It doesn't sound like a plan. I want me two margaritas. I'm about to drink these hoes when I get home. Does not take me home? Do I gotta go for my cash up card? Oh, I'm gonna use my other card. Who is this? Girl, it look like girl, it look like a motherfucker named Abdul is working here at Chachos. Come on, uh, Muhammad Aladdin. Girl, he look like he fine. You don't want me an old foreigner, bitch. You know they treat you know they they they'll treat you like a queen, honey. <laughs> Yo, I don't know, girl. Cause that had me fucked up. Cause my mouth just woke up, girl. Cause who? Cause you ain't running me in no relationship. Cause you ain't running me in no relationship. Quiet as a skill, girl. That's why I ain't got no man. Girl, is that mine? I hope you bought. A, I, I hope you put a lot of cheese on my um stuff. Girl, he working, girl. You really can't tell if somebody real, real fine because you know everybody face covered up. You know everybody whole goddamn face covered up. So you really can't tell. But he look like he might be fine. Shout out to all the Muhammad's and Aladdin's out there. You know I like to call the boys Aladdin's when they from across the waters, girl. Aladdin, honey. Mmm. I know that's right, baby. You better make them tacos and burritos. Make that money, don't let it make you. Baby, it is 10 02. I need to get home. Girl, y'all slow. Shit. You see how you supposed to you supposed to talk your shit when that when that girl you don't talk your shit at the goddamn uh you supposed to talk your shit when they can't hear you. Come on! Girl, I just want two margaritas, girl. And girl, they getting over at Chacho's, girl. I'm going to show y'all this small-ass cup they give us. The girls is getting over. And they know they getting over. Oh, that's cute. She gave me a little cup holder. Girl, why he all on her shoulder? Girl, why Aladdin all on over, over fish shoulder? Oh, y'all fucking? Bitch, I know he ain't fucking this bitch. Girl, he was all on her shoulder. And y'all know y'all supposed to be six feet apart. I'm telling you, ain't that some cock blocking ass shit? He was all over her shoulder. Mm, I guess. They are moving a little fast thing online. Or at least they look like it. You know how motherfuckers look like they moving, but girl ain't doing shit. But they look like they moving. They look like they're trying to get our asses out this drive through. Girl, she need to come on. Girl, you see, I'm, you, you see how long I've been sitting at this window? One thing you think I'm not saying, nothing's ever like a plan. Girl, here she goes. Hold up. Okay. Oh, that's all right. 
Girl, look at the small ass cup. Hold on. Thank you. Here, get my coin. Honey, if I knew she was gonna get my food and drinks first, I would've gave her that cash out part and pulled it off. Cause that whole got four dollars on Honey, let me tell y'all something. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch, I ain't coming here no more. Let's see what I have. Girl, come on, get this receipt so I can go. Look at this shit. I want y'all to see. Look at this small ass cup. Bitch, that's a margarita. That margarita costs $7. And when the restaurant was open, girl, you had a big old glass. They know they could have made that cup a little bit bigger. They got my goddamn nerves. Shall let me get home so I can drink these margaritas. I need to get home, wash my ass. Girl. And then lay in the bed and watch a movie until I fall asleep. I ain't gonna go to work until one o'clock tomorrow, y'all. Bitch, did I tell y'all they changed the hours at my job, girl? We work either eight to five or oh girl, let me take this mask off. No, I tell you, we work eight to five, either one to ten. Bitch, I ain't work one to ten in so long. I was cutting up the other day when I had to work one to ten. Bitch, I almost died. Girl. Ain't even nothing going on for us, girl. Quiet as this kept, girl. You know, I really talk, like talking about my job like that, but girl, I ain't girl. <laughs> girl, I'ma leave it alone. I'ma leave it alone. Um, <laughs> come on, somebody got a Rolls Royce in front of me, girl. Where you going? These motherfuckers right here. Now these are hoes I want to write to write the city over. Roaches on West Timer. I ain't gonna tell on y'all. But bitch, y'all know y'all be out of order. And bitch, I know y'all ain't following no capacity laws. Bitch, I went there the other day. I was like, ooh, bitch, I want some roaches. I want to be a California burrito girl. They used to be our old stomping ground back in the day. Back in the day, girl, roaches used to have like the burritos that you could get from Chipotle. Those will be the girl. Let me see who this is in this Rolls Royce. Where he going? Oh, girl, baby, girl, girl. Yes, smell girl. That's a black man and a black girl. Come on, fish. I want to roll my window down, but he might think I'm trying to holler at that bitch. I want to tell her she look, she look like she bad as fuck. Let me mind my business. I ain't trying to talk to that bitch. I just want to snap my fingers two times and tell her she look like she bad. And bitch, she got it. And she done got to the motherfucking money. Come on. Yeah. Y'all see them right here? Girl, I'm a, I hope they pass by, girl. I'm gonna let the window down, girl, so y'all can see, bitch. This how people get, this how people get shot. This is exactly how people get shot. I'm trying to slow down so y'all can see them, girl. So they can, girl, y'all see them? Look, 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 look. Bitch. Baby, she, baby, mama look like she bad. It's a black couple. Come on. Come on, bitch. Yes. I don't know, girl, I don't know if they got no money or not. Cause just cause you got a nice ass car don't mean you got no money. That just means you got a high ass car note, okay? But girl, I'm thinking that my, I'm thinking that some, somebody in that car got some change. Shit, I shouldn't have came this way. I forgot that was doing construction work on this side. Girl, somebody in that car got a little bit of change. Y'all saw it? I wish I could have saw a fish, because fish like she was cute. Hmm. That bitch said she ain't dating no man who working out of five. <laughs> I cannot wait to get my hair cut on Friday. Y'all can, I, babe, I cannot wait. I'm gonna feel like a brand new woman, girl. I cannot wait. 
Ooh, whenever I get my hair cut, I'll be feeling like y'all hoes can't tell me shit. I do be feeling cute. I don't want nobody saying nothing to me. Don't say nothing to me. Nothing. Which I'm liable to go live just to smile in y'all face. What are we talking about tonight? Nothing, girl. I just want to show y'all my haircut <laughs> in real time. Girl, y'all hope so y'all can let me get over. Thank you. If I would have bulldozed in front of y'all ass, y'all hit me from the back, it would have been y'all fault. Even though it would have been my fault. But y'all hit me in the back, so it would have been y'all fault. Girl, what the fuck he want? Y'all see all this? What he looking at? Y'all see him? Uh, y'all see the girl? Don't be looking in this car. I ain't even talking to you, bitch. That's the police girl. You know that he probably looking to kill somebody. Let me shut up. When I tell you, these hoes get on my goddamn nerves. When I say, baby, they always doing something on this goddamn shit. Oh, baby, mama bad. Look at this black police officer, girl. Baby, this bitch got so much ass, y'all. Look at her. She walking in the middle. Y'all see her right there? When I say they always doing something on West Time, I swear to God. I swear to God. Bitch, at this point, y'all just need to hire some new people. Because every time I look up, y'all blocking some lanes off. Shit. A bitch can't never get home on time. Oh, I got to do the review over uh, P Valley. Shit, I forgot. I'm gonna do it tonight because I know. Yeah, I'm gonna do it tonight, girl. I'm just gonna do it tonight. Let's have a champagne chronic night cat. Tony Braxton for uh, August. Girl, you know, you know, I want to make a video about August because I don't give a damn what none of y'all say. I said it. I said it in my live. I said it in a video I'm posted. Girl, I'm asleep. Explain to me, oh, she. What? <laughs> 
what Jada, that's what Jada uh, said in August. Why, when, where, how, who, what made you go up and lose your mind this time? Treated you damn good. Girl, no, you didn't, girl. <laughs> bunch of bars and everything everywhere but girl for the most part the bars is for white they're not for white people but you know I don't have nothing against white people even though even the Elizabeth said Elizabeth said girl I was prejudiced against white women that's what she said girl this white woman was on my live a couple of months girl like a month ago Girl, I don't know what was going on. All I know is they said Erica was getting that girl together in the comments. Girl, you know I be running my girl. I was like, hold on, why? Girl, I was so confused. I saw her when she called me prejudice though, and then she started talking about her son or something. It was weird. It was weird. I don't know. I was in and out of it, but I was like, what's going? I was trying. You know, I can't because I can't be reading y'all comments and talking. I gotta talk, say what I got to say, and then I read the comments and I go back. But I be having to say what I need to say so I don't get sidetracked. Anyway, some white bitch was in the comments saying, Hey, Elizabeth, girl. <laughs> if you watching. Elizabeth saw talking about something about her son being six foot two or something. Girl, what? I don't know what. I don't know, girl. I don't know, girl. But all I know is that the girl said that Erica, that, that Erica had her fucking foot on that, on that bitch neck. <laughs> girl. Uh, Elizabeth, that ain't got nothing to do with me, girl. Nothing. I know some of the moderators was trying to block her and I was telling them don't block her. Moderators, we can't be blocking everybody now. Like, it's one thing if somebody wanna just talking ignorant, like, okay, girl, whatever. But girl, people like Elizabeth, girl, they need to be there. Because if I don't say something, bitch, somebody in the comment section damn sure gonna say something. <laughs> oh, child. Anyways, God did not know this video is gonna be 45 minutes long. When I tell you I can run this trap of mine, <laughs> bitch, some hoes could never put me on radio. <laughs> Them bitches would be like, girl, your time slot is only from 12 to 2. 
And bitch, you still, girl, you still running out of that goddamn mouth. You was at 2.30. Sorry. I had something to say. <laughs> That's why I, I really be so impressed. I'm not going to lie. I really am kind of impressed by people that use Twitter. Because I, I feel like you have to be really, 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 really smart. Well, some people are dumb. But for, for some of the people that are smart. Some of the people on Twitter are smart, of course. But I feel like in order for you to be able to reduce what you need to say, at one point it was like 140 characters. Now I think they raised it, right? Bitch, can y'all imagine my long-winded ass on Twitter, girl? I never get my point across. That's why I just, when I see shit I agree with, I just retweet it. Thank you. They did the work for me. Retweet. <laughs> Girl, you got you really have to be like you really have to know how to like reduce whatever you need to say because that's a lot. That's one of the reasons why I never could get into Twitter because I felt like I never could say what I wanted to say within that limited space. Hmm. Whatever. All right, y'all. I'm almost home. And y'all know. I turn down this road, all y'all gonna hear is doo -doo 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 -doo. girl. Get my ass off. Girl, I was trying to go to the I see why y'all girls don't be getting out of the girl. These girl, let me tell y'all something, girl. Y'all niggas gonna have to stop standing outside the convenience store. I think I said, did I did I say this last? I think I said this last night, girl. Y'all niggas gonna have to stop hanging out outside these convenience stores. Like, that is not cute. Bitches be scared to get out their car, bitch. I'm a big black nigga, and I be scared to get out the car shit. So I know these petite bitches and these other girls. Girl, regardless if they petite or not, girl. I'm, I'm sure these women, they be nervous too. A bitch can't even go in, a, uh, go in the store and pay for, for some fucking gas without niggas standing outside the goddamn door. Get your, why is your ass standing outside the door? Girl, why I tell you, baby, I pulled up to the gas station the other night, girl, I saw some men sitting out, uh, sitting outside. Bitch I, bitch, I was turning this goddamn wheel so goddamn fast. Hell no. Mm -mm. I don't even want to deal with y'all asses. So I know the women don't want to deal with y'all asses. I know they don't. Y'all niggas just be standing outside the goddamn convenience store. Like, girl, take your ass home. Or get your ass from around here. Shit. Just standing there making people uncomfortable. A bitch can't even go in and get her a goddamn bottle of wine. Cause your ass. Bitch, I was trying to go inside the convenience store just to get me an energy drink. Because I, you know, girl, you know, I'm trying to cut back. But, girl, girl, the girls be lying. How you trying to cut back what you just said you was going to the, girl? <laughs> See, I was talking about the energy drinks here. Girl, I was going to the store to get me an energy drink so I could have something to drink in the morning for work. So I was like, it's already going to be at home in the, in the refrigerator. All I got to just wake up, go pop it, girl, and I'm good to go. But I couldn't even do that because I didn't want to get out the car. I said, uh-uh, bitch, I'll just wait till the morning. And that's exactly what the fuck I did. That's exactly what I did. Shout out to all y'all women who be complaining about not wanting to get out the car because he be a whole bunch of niggas standing around. I completely fucking understand it. Black women, white women, Asian, it don't matter. I completely understand it. Because, bitch, I'm a grown-ass, big-ass nigga, and I don't like to get out the car. Shit. So I know y'all asses ain't like don't like to get out the car. Ain't got no. And then, then the, the real gag is the motherfuckers want to try to talk to you, girl. What you gonna do for this woman? Not a goddamn thing. Say, little mama, come here. No. What the fuck you gonna do for her? That bitch got a sign in the door and a car note and rent and all type. You can't do shit because your ass is hanging out at the convenience store. I got pissed off. Bye, y'all.